kahit ang halaw niya at katura kung may pero Eto sa Abila Dixon, Mohamed Ipanak, kaya at Lecter Bir, kasama at Farzana Kumandan. And I can't say, say, yun yung pro kinahar kuwag students. And the mice of Alton Bits for Lecter, uminahar ka kong kasyas, ino kami kibaya mir sa hard ka kong mir. En dan dan ik ga gaan ik ook het ook op je terug kookraan. En ik was jou hier vandaag lekker in en ik kom bij Zamet van Zala komen dan. Ze nou een lijfde man te gaan zijn. En ik was jou welke bed. Ik kan niet weg, ik kan niet lekker kosa vinden. Maar vandaag gaan Andi nou voor mij maken een lekker masala vis. Masala vis? Ja. Maar een mens barkos met je vis in die pannen aan zijn klaar. Oké, zo die het. It's like a curry okay. that, you can, that you can eat, okay. but it's a very dry curry. So it's a water. And okay. the trick to this is you're not liquidizing your tomato, you're using okay. tomato paste, okay. you're grating your tomato. Okay. It's fresh, but you're grating it. Okay. So it's a masala thick fish curry that we usually have with ruti. It is a tr traditional Indian dish, which okay. we serve with chara dal, which oh. are the next okay. one. Now, uh, uh, what is all the spices here that we can Okay. So we're first going to start with garlic, yes. which I've got four cloves of garlic, which is grated very finely. Fresh Fresh garlic, one tablespoon of tomato paste. I've got fresh dania. I've got fresh lemon. Mm -hmm. I've got your favorite mm -hmm. curry leaf. Um, <laughs> I've got chilies. We've got about six grated tomatoes for a kilo of fish that we're going to use. The fish we're using today is stock fish, which is like you can use. It goes perfectly with snook. I just couldn't find snook. Any firm fish you can get, it goes very, very nicely okay. with. And then over here we've got our masalas, which is what we're going to make it with, which is one teaspoon of jeera, mm -hmm. one and a half teaspoons of kuljana. One teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of your body or your turmeric, and then here is two tablespoons of seafood masala. You can get that at any spice shop. It's yes. a seafood masala, um, it, or fish masala goes very nice with the dish. Okay, but I think it was not three sweat and in back you bought I yeah, it would come in, okay. but uh, no, sorry, it is the body and the turmeric is one, mm -hmm. but um, that's chili powder with it. It, 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 it would come in, but I just put it together to show ah, the difference. Now, that's 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 the difference. Now, so, what is the first thing? Okay, the first thing we can do is the tomato. So, we can put the tomato in the pocket. The first let's throw it. You can see it's all grated tomato, no water, and it's got a thicker consistency than you know, all the others. Okay, and then, Auntie Abida, I need you to please, now can you do it for me? I need you to take the tomato paste and then just put the teaspoon in here for me. And the reason why we add tomato paste is just for color. Okay, so it's for the donkey clear. So we'll set the tomato paste in this meal. And then we'll add all the salt in it. All of it, a teaspoon of salt. Okay, and then we're going to put in the seafood masala. And that's all of it. All of it. And then I'm going to weigh off the correct quantities like I did say. And then this is the kuljana, which is the fine coriander. And that is the jira, which is the fine cumin, chili powder and body. Here you go. This meal. That's perfect. Okay, and now we're going to add in our garlic. Oh, this is, this is four um, cloves that I finely grated. It's fresh, so I'm going to put that in. And then, can you see it's starting to smell? Okay, so there we go. And then we just give it a little bit of a mix together. And you'll see it will all start turning into masala. But let's see that you can break now the first garlic in good taste. But now, as Eh, no, ni di 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 mince ni, ni ni pulki ni ice pan. You can use that, but then I'd say use an extra teaspoon because the farce is out there more concentrated. Yeah. So because I use four here, you have to use five teaspoons of the ready-made garlic. Okay. Okay. So we mix them through now, and then Auntie Abida, if you can, um, I need to put the juice of a half a lemon in here. So I've taken a half a one, but I've cut it in two. We squeeze it in. This minute, there we go. Alles. Alles. There we go. And then the next one also, because that's a quarter. So mm -hmm. there we go. Mm. Okay, I think we can. There you go. Yeah, I think we can get some more out here. Uh -huh. just yeah, it's almost easy to get a bit more. Okay, but ah. there we go. But now for my own, the second one, can I get in it to my bottle? Of course you can, but then it must be the juice of one lemon. So uh -huh. I'd say like half a lemon, sorry. So I'd yes. say a quarter cup. 
I'll put that up a lemon. Lemon juice. Yeah. Okay. Fish and oil. No, no, no. <laughs> and then um, we're going to add this fresh dania, which is over here. Yeah. It gives it also flavor. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. These are all washed. Okay. So curry leaves, also for flavor. But, but, no, that's what the, this very that's very good. Well, that's very done the same day. Okay, so then you can see it's a masala starting to form. Mm. We must just see that we mix it really, really well. Mm. So, can you see the corners has got tomato in and we don't want that to go masala. So I would really have to mix it, even if you mix it for like a few minutes. The first garlic and the lemon here have a nice flavor for the first. There we go. Let's see what else we have. Okay. There we go. The one thing that I actually forgot to mention that's already in here mm. is two tablespoons of oil which I added in the um, tomato already, oh, okay, which okay. is in. Okay. So okay. now I'm going to take a dish over okay. here and give it up. Mm. And then I'm going to take my fish, which yeah. is now bismillah. You can help me over yeah. here. Yeah. I'll just leave that that side. So I preheated the oven. Yes, yes. So we actually, I'm going to show you now, I have a of a twee on it. Yeah. And then, there we go. Ah, this is the oven, man. <laughs> and the put it in the fire here. There we go. There we go. Let's move that over there. There we go. Let's put it in the oven. That's perfect. Ah, that's the oven. Got a little serviette over yeah. here. And now this is what we do with the rest of it. Ah. So, now we it. so now we make sure that there is masala at the bottom. Yes. And on top. And, I said, oh. and this is all. So this is the gravy and this is what it's going to be. Yes. So now we go. This one. Okay. So we can see now. And the and we can see how it is. And we can see And now we can see how it is. And now we can see how it is. Okay, so when we were done and we added the masala, yes. I garnished it with fresh chilies yes. and dania, mm -hmm. and then I closed it with foil mm -hmm. and it goes into a preheated oven of 200 mm -hmm. for about 20 minutes, mm -hmm. um, depending on how you want it. If you want, sorry, not 20 minutes, half an hour, depending on how you want it. After half an hour, you can take off the foil and you can grill it if you want to, or if you want a thick curry, you can just leave it as is and serve as is. If another tip on Tibida, if you are making this fish, it's probably better that you make it in the morning and then it stands. Because if it stands, the more flavor falls through. Lekker, so, lekker. Now we're going to make a dish of a type of dal. That's right. I'm going to make a dish with dal. But we're going to make a dish with dal. Okay, we're going to make a dish with dal. Okay, we're going to make a dish with dal. Okay, we're going to make a dish with dal. Okay, we're going to make a dish with dal. Okay, we're going to make a dish with dal. Okay, we're going to make a dish with dal. Okay, we're going to make a dish with dal. Okay, we're going to make a dish with dal. Okay, we're going to make a dish with dal. Okay, we're going to make a dish with dal. Okay, we're going to make a dish with dal. Okay, we're going to make a dish with dal. Okay, we're going to make a dish with dal. Okay, we're going to make a dish with dal. Okay, we're going to make a dish with dal. Okay, we're going to make a dish with dal. Okay, we're going to make a dish with dal. Okay, we're going to make a dish with dal. Okay, we're going to make a dish with dal. Okay, we're going to make a dish with dal. Okay, we're going to make a dish with dal. Okay, we're going to make a dish with dal. Okay, we're going to make a dish with dal. Okay, we're going to make a dish with dal. Overnight, a lot of people do. What I do with the dal is I put it in the morning, in the morning when I take it out, I rinse it. Mm -hmm. And after you rinse it, you put it in a pot, but you add boiling water. Mm -hmm. So you close the pot and you let it stand for at least an hour. It will swell. After that, you cook it for 20 minutes, which I've done. And after 20 minutes, it's done. Mm -hmm. um, it's not a fine dal, as you can see. Yeah, it's I still see it's, 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 it's soft, 
but it's still cool yeah. so it, you really really enjoy it well i would first say i can see you're not in a quote with kicker air kiss me okay so what, what's the best stand you like in a in a day for me okay the is thing i want to see it this is the first uh, step of the recipe so we've got a little bit of ghee yeah. which is your clarified butter mm -hmm. and then we've got fresh garlic and ginger and garlic so i've got garlic and ginger and chili which i've made and then i've got garlic which okay. i've here it's one clove which i've grated yeah. and then i've got whole mustard seeds mm -hmm. i've got whole jira mm -hmm. and i've got whole uh, crushed chilies and it's a half a teaspoon of each okay. okay and then when we go over here i've got um one teaspoon of fennel which is berisha mm -hmm. and then i've got one teaspoon uh, sorry a half a teaspoon of jira and a half a teaspoon of kuljana mm -hmm. uh, Pori, half a teaspoon, and I've got one teaspoon of chili powder over there, and one teaspoon of salt. Okay. The Danian chilies is for garnish afterwards. Okay. Very important. Tomatoes. Tomato. I've grated two tomatoes, but we'll maybe use one and a half because the tomato looks a bit much. But also with the chana dal, tikka curry, grated tomato works better than tomato puree. Uh, but personal preference. Okay. So, well, so well, let's well, yeah, yeah, so. go. Okay, so we're first going to eat the pan, and then we're going to add in our ghee. Can I extra my skin oily and white? Yeah. You can, okay. you can if you want to, but then I just like the butter taste. So if you want to, because ah. the ghee usually has a nutty taste, but I prefer the butter taste. So if you want to, you're welcome to also add um, a piece of butter with the oil. Okay. It just makes yeah. it richer. <laughs> okay, so here we go in. I usually do it on the stove, it doesn't have to be done in the electric frying pan. Uh, uh, but both my stoves <laughs> are back, so I didn't yeah. want to do that. I have my back towards you. Okay, Bismillah. So now I'm adding mustard seeds, crushed chilies, whole mm. jeera, and antibida. This is where we spoke about it the yeah. last time before I add the garlic and yeah. ginger. Uh, curry leaves. I always add it with my whole spices because I find with the ghee it enhances the flavor. Mm. So mm. we're gonna cook this a bit mm. till we wait till it pops. Because mm. once it's ready, it starts popping. Oh, okay. and then you can actually smell. Once you cook your dal, it goes very quickly. Mm. 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 I like lumpy seeds. And then once it pops and you'll start to get a whiff of it soon. Uh. You just have to play with this temperature. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I like the of the brand of the and the lake, but others go. Mm -hmm. Smell of vision, huh? <laughs> um, and you smell, that smell that you're getting now in Tibida is the ghee. So it always has like a nutty taste, yeah. which to me is a richer taste than just oil. Mm -hmm. I always find ghee and butter smells much nicer yeah, than, yeah. you know, oil. Okay, so now, can you see if we stop, we'll see it's popping all over. So yeah. that means it's ready. So then, Antibida, you can add the garlic and ginger and garlic for me, please, in the middle. There we go. That's fine. And the flavor will release immediately. Ooh, exactly. Can you smell that? Exactly. It smells good. Mm -hmm. So the minute... You start smelling and the tips of the garlic turns brown, yeah. which will be happening in a minute. Mm. Now we get to need to add our tomato. The tomato. So you know, say the bikini man that's all in Not yet, right? Not yet, right? We're just going to add the tomato. Okay, there we go. Popping and turning brown. Are you talking about it? Okay, here we go. Add it <laughs> to the side. Oh, that's good. Oh, fine. That's fine. You can add a little bit more for me. Okay. That's perfect. Yeah. Okay, so I've used about one and a half tomatoes there. Yeah. So now I'm going to start and I'm going to add my salt. Yeah. And I'm going to add, let's see, that over there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then I'm going to add my chili powder. Yeah. And then I'm going to add my body. Yeah. <laughs> and then I'm going to add my cheetah. Yeah. And my cold chana. Mm. And then I'm going to add my barisha. Yes. There we go. There's a little. Okay. And the body is still sticking a little bit. That's okay. perfect. Stop. Okay, so we're going to stick. So then the basis when I know Claudia McCarr is in a liquor deer cooker. And then Honey, the kicker, air piece, the chickpeas, no, no. And then you just cook till it dry. And then you say, yeah. Yeah, then it's dry. All right. So as you can see, 
baie gang en makkelijk en dit is waarvan ek hou is om van mense soos hierdie te kom keier so dat ek soma kan quick and easy meals maak by my huis en die kompas. Onze vis is klaar, onze dal is klaar, maar nou natuurlijk moet die mens ons dan nou ook ons nog voeding eet, na sy ons nog lekker geëet het, nee. En dit was dan, wat gaat u nou gewoon maak hier, want ek sien om dit puistree en jou wat daar aan die bakkeltje sien. Ok, altyd, altyd, sê dat dessert is always the best part. Ok, so after fish, a nice cup of tea, and we're gonna have pastry little cinnabons with it. It's not like a cinnabon, it's more of a crispy crunchy one, because we're using pastry. You can use your own pastry, but we, you know, we like shortcuts. We like shortcuts, so we decided to take a roll. So the first thing we do is I've got a normal standard roll of puff pastry over here. So I'm gonna, bismillah, open it slowly. Okay, so now I unroll it, and as I'm unrolling it, very carefully, I leave the plastic on. So I leave the plastic at the bottom, as you can see the plastic is still at the bottom, so I'm going to open it over here, and then I can be, I'm sorry, I can be done. Here I've got 50 grams of butter. It must be soft, almost melted butter, okay, so we've left it out and it's a bit too warm, so it's melty. And then we've got 50 grams of light brown sugar. So we've got 50 grams of light brown sugar, 50 grams of butter, equal quantities. We're going to mm -hmm. mix that together with one tablespoon of fine cinnamon. Okay. So you could just add that for me and mix it together, please. So I need so. And alles. Everything. You can take a big or small spoon, which you can use in the top. And we're just going to mix it slowly to make a little paste. It's supposed to be like a cinnamon sugar butter. Equal quantities. If you have a bigger roll of pastry, this is a 300 grams roll. If you take a kilo or anything else, you just double the quantities. So it's one tablespoon of cinnamon, 50 grams of butter, and 50 grams of cinnamon. That is the big part. Now, let's make some more lekker meen. Lekker meen. Alle rookies en alle rookies en alle vlommetjes. En dan. Hey, like the other guys was a kind of a. Now, Auntie Abida, before I start with this recipe, I'd just like to tell you and all the viewers out there that this is one of these versatile recipes I use because either I do the cinnamon crispy rolls or I do chocolate in between, where I put chocolate chips in between and I do chocolate. Or I do raisins and almonds and I put that in between and I make like a little nut one. Or the nicest part is sometimes you get chicken, like leftover chicken. Yes, you yes, put chicken, yes. you put peppers, you put onion, and you roll it up the same and you make a savory little bun. So it's very versatile. So that's about ready. That's perfect. So I'm going to need that spoon. Yes, of course. Mmm, lekker sugar in there. Lovely, eh? And it's the brown sugar. So I'm mm. using a spatula because then you get everything out. Lekker sugar die as hy een soep kan is en al kan suiker. En voel ek nog al lekker, en mens proe nie so die cinnamon so dead smaak. So die suiker pak om een beetje hoog. Ja, die brown sugar, I think the cinnamon just suckles it down. Yes. Maar nou, baie van ons mense gebruik nie so brown suiker, ons gebruik hier wat is hy ook al. It's ok, but the brown sugar works better. The reason why it works better is to get sticky sugar. So it works with this. So now I'm spreading it on over here. You can use a spoon. Now I'll give it no more chocolate. Like more chocolate. You'll see at a certain stage I'll have to stop using this and clean it off. Let's just get it out. So now we have to make sure all the edges are covered. Amazing. Amazing. The best part is we can actually roll it up. Wat is my nou so my dank nou peanut butter? Peanut butter? Peanut butter, want ek sê deesdag kook mense beskrikkelijk nogal baie met peanut butter. Ja, peanut butter cookies, peanut butter cake, peanut butter brownies, which I've tried the other day, which was also very nice. Okay. And I'm not a peanut butter fan. Only time I have peanut butter is peanut butter, lots of apricot jam and a slice of bread with coffee. Okay, so there we go. And most of the edges are covered. Moes nog klaar meneer nie? So this either goes two ways. Yes. You can do it this way, or you can do it that way. Ah. This way you're gonna get less, but a smaller one, a bigger one. This way you're gonna get more, but a big, smaller, smaller one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm gonna use it in turn of the paper. There we go. 
and we're going to slowly start rolling. You have to do this slowly because you have to make sure that it's very, very tight. Okay. Yeah. And then the paste, as the paste, then we'll break. As the all you do is you put it in the fridge a little bit for a little uh, while because remember, once it goes into the fridge and it goes stiff. Okay. So that's all you do. Um, and the Abida, I always tell the kids, because we actually make this in class, you yeah. need to look from the side to see that there's no gaps. Oh. And if you need any help, all you do is, can I see how to do Take the paper and just press it flat. That's why we need the paper on. So then oh the edges will the always be longer. It actually tastes very nice with chicken, mushroom, um, Feta. Mm. Nice. Here we go. So let me just show you over here. Yeah. So we're going to close it. Most importantly, this is where you use the paper. You need mm. to make sure that it's closed nicely. Yeah. And in order for it not to leak, let me just show you this side. And you see you need to like kind of pinch it close. Oh, I not me. So I have a tip for the viewers also. Mm. The butter yeah. and the sugar becomes very sticky. So okay. it's very difficult to take it off your pan when you're done. So it's much easier to put baking paper. Baking paper, yeah. So bismillah, there we go. Let me just show you. Mm. Looks pretty, eh? And as it comes on, we're going to Now what we do is we're going to cut him. We cut him about a finger thick, mm. right through. And then I the other you can help me when you're done. Mm. Taking different sizes here. Mm -hmm. If you find that your pastry is too soft and you can't work with it, all we do is we put it in the fridge. Even after we do it this way, we put it in the fridge and it will firm up in a few minutes. Just okay. leave it for about 15, 20 minutes and then you'll see it will firm up. So the trick before we go back is, you take it, place it between the palm of your hands, just a little flap, put a little cinnamon and then bismillah on the tray and then at the okay. I need you to sprinkle some sugar. Okay, wait, you need to sugar. That's the last step. Okay. So there's dessert and when it's done at the Abida, we make on a little bit of icing, but runny icing <laughs> with water and icing sugar and we just put a drizzle of icing over it. Sure. And Quick and easy. I must say, I see I have all the means that quick school and all the type of footage in it. But that is why I am in the work and I have to put quick footage out. Uh, so it's not going to be done. It's not going to be done. And at the Abida, the strangest part is that if it's not class mm -hmm. or I'm not adjusting recipes and yeah. uh, doing a batch before the time, yeah. then my kids and my husband and my mommy and my sister is like, I need something sweet. What are you making? <laughs> and then I end up baking on your weekend too. <laughs> well, so I don't know what's in the broken story. I'm a blind little scatter. I can only like the pro and I can only like the little smile. And kijk naar de lekker goed wat die auntie van mij gemaakt heeft voor die dag. Van nummer één is ik bij je beander met dat presentation. Nee, competition, competition, competition. Definitief gaat zij voor mij weg. Nou, die Marzana, de wij echt nog gaan pro hardloop gaan voor ons kijkers misschien weer van die bestanddelen wat ik kan onthou gaan voor ons. Okay. Well, en ons het ons nou die vis, ons het die dal, en dan het ons ons nou hierdie ene keer wat nou lekker gemaakt is, haam en die peistree. Oké, okay, as a kilo fish, yes. like, any fish you can use with 6 grated tomatoes, 4 grated cloves, um, I've got a teaspoon of kojana, um, mm. a half a teaspoon of jira, ori, chili powder, two tablespoons of fish nice. masala. Can you taste the chili? Mm. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, fresh dania, curry leaves, nice. lemon juice, half lemon. And um, mix that all together with the paste, put it on the fish, and in the oven for 30 minutes covered on 200 in a preheated oven. The chanala, we've got chanala cooked up. Uh, till it's soft and then we've got one teaspoon of berisha, um, a half a teaspoon of jira and kojana, chili powder, curry leaves, garlic and ginger, garlic and then our spices which is our mustard seeds, our crushed chilies and our old jira. And then garnish with dania and chilies and give it a pretty plate for everybody to eat. And then oh the cinnabons, the crispy cinnabons, did you enjoy that? We just had I think that we made on with a little few drops of hot water, yes. just with a little bit of colour, and we put it over it just to give it a bit okay, of sweetness. Okay, now I'm going to sprinkle it in the middle of the middle, and then I'm going to add three proof. But before I go there, I'm going to say, the first amazing egg proof for all the lemon, 
Pregaan in a tila kitchami, my sister stand. No, it's not. My sister in a canatila pala anadam. Here and definitely die prusumas was it dal, but a miserera, three madican at work, the corals ampus was it the gavola, the chickpeas, the chickpeas, but a miserable dab that can't prove that so. It was it a so few woman as you are the coyote pro. It's very nice, eh? Right? Oh, wow! It's very crunchy. I... This is amazing. This one is amazing. But how quick was it to make? The cinnamon. Yeah. The cinnamon gives a healthy reef in the whole house. And I will give you a great fun smell. Mensen, all that I can say is, you can see my man in the middle of the house. But I can't smell it.